Taking extra cleaning measures and cruise ships becoming quarantined to prevent the spread of the wide reaching coronavirus, travelers may face concerns about the safety of their future plans. Nathaniel Rodriguez spoke with a family about their thoughts on the pandemic. He now joins us live. Good evening, Nathaniel. Good evening, Paige. When I paid a visit to the state line today, I noticed it was mostly empty. But for the travelers I did see, they did not seem concerned about Florida's state of emergency. Change the course of this pandemic. As the World Health Organization announces that the coronavirus outbreak has now reached pandemic status, concerns are at an all-time high. This is especially true in Florida, currently under a state of emergency, where the cruise ship industry is in trouble and flights in and out of the state are being reduced. But for one Dahlonega resident, he thinks the fears are a bit exaggerated. Hey, I'm 79 year old. I'm the right age to be a, to, to catch it from what they tell me. But, but I'm not scared, you know, you take one day at a time and one step at a time and trust the good Lord for the next one. While Gilstrap and his family aren't too concerned about the COVID-19 pandemic, they are taking precautions as they travel through the state of Florida. Don't pay to be cautious and we stop to eat, stop by the roadside rest area. We're a little more cautious about handling things. And while the risk may be higher in states like Florida, White House officials continue to assure Americans that the risk of infection remains low. If you are immunocompromised, if you have chronic medical conditions, if you are over the age of 60, you are at higher risk. If you are a child or a young adult, you are less likely to be impacted by the coronavirus. Remember, wash your hands and avoid crowds or unnecessary travel. This reduces your chances of contracting any illness, especially COVID-19. And Paige, another thing to note is that most people who contract the virus only face mild symptoms and can recover at home. It is by no means a death sentence should you contract the virus. All right, Nathaniel, thank you for that report tonight. Enterprise